gets the ball. And away we go. Nighttime at the World Series. A strike. Oregon State 39 and 29 and 15 in the Pac-12 and on the World Series stage for the second time ever their starting lineup. It is the true freshman Lexi Delbre who went through eight innings. Escobar to first base an easy play for Avery Gels her playing career. That's down the right field line that's a base hit for Jen maybe extra bases. Grabbed by Lindsay off the wall and Zhao Jin has her sixth hit of the season and it comes at the World Series. Well, talk about something that's going to ignite the Oregon State dugout as if they need anything. I mean, just on their own, they bring the energy. But when you have a hitter selected, this is a slow ground ball to short. Skyler Wallace will go to first with the runner Jin crossing in front of her. Hanuni on an 0-1 smokes this one to center field for the first run of the game. No Mazan, no problem in the first inning as Hamoudi drives in her 40th run of the season. Frankie Hamoudi is <laughs> the vocal leader on this team. He's in supers. And a sophomore takes ball four. Eliana Gottlieb with a pop-up that should end and does end the inning to short. But look at her ERA, 1.53 ERA. This is a pitcher that has ice in her veins. And it's those top three, Falby, Adams, and Wallace, who have scored 55% of the runs. Freshman. This one is slapped. That's going to be at least a base hit. And Falby is way safe at first base. The fastest player, Tim Walton, says he's ever coached with an infield hit. 40 is a base dealer. There she goes. And Fulby is out at second. Des Rivera, the freshman catcher, with a perfect throw in Oregon State. Not bothered by the speed. Oh, Fulby's still hanging out at second. Tim Walton is going to come down the line. There are challenges for the coaches here, the potential of replay review at this World Series. And the, whether he wants to call it or not. There's a base hit for Adams, meanwhile, after the caught stealing. And Wallace goes down. Off speed for Hendigas for her first strikeout. And Eccles hits a ground ball to Escobar. First out of the inning, third out of the inning. Oklahoma City. And Simon leads off the second inning. Series. Here's a chopper that finds some dirt and some grass for Rivera. Just a 172 hitter, only her 21st hit of the season. And the seven and eight hitters are on for the Beavs. Shows it, pulls it back, shows it again, and lays down a butte. That's going to be a base hit for Watley and Simon. With a quick thought, will hold at third. Seven, eight, nine are aboard here in the Beavers' second. Charlotte Eccles, the third baseman for Florida. True freshman Escobar. That ball is lined to right field, right at Cheyenne Lindsay. And everybody's going to hold in place. That's strike three. And she has been change up happy out of the Gator pit. That's a ground ball to second base. Bases loaded, nobody out, and Lugo gets out of it. And she pops one up to right field. Off the glove of a diving Nelson. And a leadoff single for Walsh off Hendigas triples this one is smacked up the middle and through Walsh to second holds right there back-to-back -back base hits for Florida in the second love to see when your team starts to fight with two strikes up at the plate back-to-back -back hits now World series but they make a lot of contact and they do here as Kessler advances the runners back of the postseason row to third and caught right into the glove of Mesmer and Gales drills one off the glove of Hamoudi. Two runs will score. Lindsay behind Walsh, and Florida takes the lead. We were just talking about the bottom of the order needing to step up. It's going to go down as an error. A ground ball from Falby to second. Escobar will go to the back of the legger soon. There's a strikeout. Lugo got ahead of Hamoudi 0-2, threw three straight balls, and then punched her out. Walked in the first inning, and strikes out the third. 
And it's right back up the box. Eliana Gottlieb. To stay clear through the night today. Simon goes up, drills one down the line in left field, and it is foul. Madison Simon just in front. There's a throw to second by Rowe, and a stolen base for Gottlieb. Could score now, and Simon grounds one to first. Gells will take away that possibility. And on two strikes here, a walk. One steal. It's a fly ball to right, well struck by Eccles, and it will be reeled in by Nelson. Kayla Nelson, all the way at the wall, pulled it in. Here's Walsh, there goes Wallace, and Wallace is in there safely. Rum, but that's her motto. This one flared to center by Walsh, and tracked down by Escobar from second. Licks that pitch to second and Adams. And the first one, two, three inning of the game. Series debut. Lindsey flares the first one out and over the glove of Watley at shortstop. A leadoff single for Cheyenne Lindsey. Good effort by Savannah Watley at shortstop to try to. And to Moody, the big play of the game. There's a beautiful punt by Kistler. First and second, nobody out for the Gators. Lindsey and Kistler come through. It's a sacrifice bunt situation, but Kistler, when you have her type of speed, you can surprise the defense, even with a runner at first base. Here's another bunt try by Rowe. This one spins down, and Rowe is thrown out on a fabulous play. Double-A tournament. A ground ball from Gels. That sneaks through. Lindsay is in. Kistler will come in. The ball bobbled by Gottlieb. In the second goes Gels. Two more across for Florida. And a 4-1 Gator lead. Adams with a rare strikeout. Only her 17th of the year. Hendigas gets out of it as it is indeed Oklahoma State, the Big 12 Tournament champions, and Arizona out of the Pac-12. Lou goes 3-1. That's crowded to shortstop. Another tricky hop there at the end, but a little bit truer for Wallace D this year. The goal was to get back to the World Series. A drive from Eccles, and this one gone. Sharla Eccles, oh so close to a home run in her previous at bat, launches her first home run since March 22nd. That was against the mighty Stetson Hatters, and here Eccles goes long in the World Series. Had 130 stolen bases. And Lindsay's three for three. She continues her Sterling night. Cheyenne Lindsay, six for 27 in the NCAA tournament. 2,000 wins. That ball drilled to right by Kistler, off the glove of Nelson, and Lindsay will take advantage of that, going first to third. Decker through the left side, a base hit. Off the bench for Decker, Kistler first to third, safe. Decker goes to second. And it's six to one, Gators. Love to see that smile for Callie Decker. You would think so. That's a ground ball. That is going to get into the glove of Escobar. She saves one run, but Kistler is in. Wilkie to third. Gels has knocked in three. And Florida is absolutely rolling in the middle innings. In the bottom of their order, absolutely getting it done. Here's Falby. And a ground ball to second base. Escobar will take care of this. And she's unavailable. Mesmer couldn't hold up. Wilkie, who stayed in to catch. Continuing to throw that change up time and time again. Every. And Simon strikes out. All three swinging strikeouts for Lugo. That's down the right field line. Aaron Mendoza, the new right fielder, can't get it. Crashes off the wall. Eccles to second. Eccles turning. Eccles into third standing. Florida's got two extra base hits today, and Charlotte Eccles has both of them.
<laughs> they are three outs away from a win in the World Series. Number eight hitter Rivera. Skies one into right field. And the second baseman Adams will take care of that. Watley caught by Adams. Everything's caught by Adams. Escobar to first, that's that. A relief performance for the ages for Natalie Lugo.